At Pure Storage, we've added another great innovative feature to the Pure Storage platform by utilizing the new fleet array management and automation integration of Fusion. This demonstration video will introduce the addition of presets and workloads, which adds exceptional and ever-evolving workloads to the overall feature set of the Purity operating system. Now, presets simplify and streamline the provisioning process within a fleet of arrays, all while ensuring consistency, reducing things like the required resources, the risk of misconfigurations, and overall saving time. They are a way to consistently and repeatedly automate the deployment of a workload while maintaining control over the workload's overall configuration. Now, presets also allow you to customize the workload while making sure certain requirements are still met, like the application of snapshots or data protection like asynchronous replication. Now, workloads are a set of storage objects created for a common purpose to support a specific use case or application. An example of a workload may be a volume configuration for a standardized virtual development machine, or maybe a set of several volumes for an Oracle database cluster. So let's take a look at this very cool set of features. In this demonstration environment, we've already got a few arrays configured into a Fusion fleet called Fleet 1. The new features have been introduced here on the storage tab, presets, and workloads. We haven't deployed any workloads yet. We'll deploy one of these from a preset. You can have multiple presets configured in the environment. In this case, we're going to show two different kinds of presets that you might create. Both of these are going to, going to provision storage for an instance of an Oracle database, but they work very differently. Let's take a look at the prescriptive one first. This prescriptive preset has been configured to deploy a very specific configuration of storage for an Oracle database on Flash Array X arrays with replication to a Flash Array C array. This is the simplest way to deploy a complex storage configuration using Fusion presets. To do that, we'll go to the New Workload tab and select that prescriptive root preset. There is a description you can read here of all the attributes that we'll, the preset will configure, but we'll go over those as they get provisioned. It's very simple to create a workload. You give it a name, like RDB1 as a simple name. This preset has also been configured to collect some dynamic information from the user who's provisioning the storage. In this case, a billing ID is being used. We'll put a number in here for it. You can then choose which array to deploy the workload on. And as you can see, this preset is strictly allowing the storage class of Flash Array X to be chosen. This means that we're not allowed to deploy the primary workload on the other Flash Array C. If we want to, we can ask for a placement recommendation from Pure One that will tell us which arrays are best recommended to place this workload on in the environment. Pure One makes a very simple recommendation of telling us which arrays are either recommended or acceptable. Once Pure One returns that result, we'll go ahead and pick the array and that's all there is to it. You click Create Workload, and Fusion will work in the background to create the entire storage configuration for us. Once it's done, we'll go take a look at what was created. Now we have this workload called ODB1. You can examine that workload by clicking on the workload object. Once in the object, here you can see the volumes that have been provisioned, two data volumes and a log volume. It has also automatically configured a protection group or P group for us to manage hourly snapshots. Another P group is configured for us to replicate this data to an, another array in the environment. This is the Flash Array C. If we go back to the workloads tab, you can see that as well. This workload has been provisioned with the volumes placed into a volume group. And on that volume group object, we applied a bandwidth and IOPS QoS maximum of 1,000 megabytes per second and 10,000 IOPS. All of this configuration was automatically applied for us by Fusion with a few simple clicks. Another way to use presets is to allow some customization when a workload is deployed while still controlling some aspects of the configuration, like requiring snapshots or replication. Let's take a look at how to do that. We have another preset created called Oracle Custom. This one allows for customizable deployment of storage for Oracle, but with snapshots and replication. Let's look at how that works. 
If I choose the Oracle custom preset and go to deploy a workload using this one, I can do the same thing as before, give it a workload name. We'll call this one RDB2. And in this case, I'm allowed to pick different storage classes because the preset has been configured to allow this input. So we'll stick, still pick the flash array X option as a storage class type. You can also customize the number and size of volumes. This preset's been configured to let you customize the count. So I can go ahead and create three volumes. The preset's also been configured to put some constraints around this. So if you look at the details here, I'm allowed a minimum number of one data volumes, but a maximum of five. So if I try to deploy a workload with more than that number of volumes from the beginning, the preset won't allow me to do that. We'll pick three data volumes here and two log volumes. I'm also still required to put in a billing ID so that we can track who provisioned this and what department it was provisioned for. This preset also allows you to customize another label on the workload. In this case, I can say I want to input a specific tier. Is this the production or is it for test dev? And you can customize what those values are. We'll go ahead and pick test dev here. Now we're going to choose a remote array that we're going to replicate to. I'm going to choose to replicate this over to array three and then choose a placement target for where the workload is going to get deployed. In this case, we'll just deploy it right here on the first array that we're on. I'll click create workload and let Fusion go off in the background and do all the work to deploy that workload for me. Now the workload has been deployed. If we take a look at it now, you can see that the multiple tags on the workload, the billing ID that I entered, as well as the tier that I selected. We've got three data volumes configured and two log volumes configured. The P group again has been set up for giving us hourly local snapshots and another P group created for us to do the asynchronous replication off to the third array. And likewise, just like with the first workload, we had a QoS limit configured and that's also been configured here. Presets will allow you to be very prescriptive in terms of how workloads get deployed or they will allow for the user to customize the deployment while still making sure certain attributes that you want to require to be applied to your workloads will be enforced. So this is just the beginning. We believe that presets and workloads will fundamentally alter the way you manage and provision storage resources across your infrastructure. We are really excited for you to get started with these new capabilities and start automating your storage at scale. As new Purity versions are released, there will also be more Fusion features consistently added and refined for the entire Pure Storage platform. If you want to try out these features along with other Pure Storage platform integrations, you can take a no-cost, no-commitment test drive by contacting your account team or going to purestorage.com.